Here is the engine you see right here with the top removed. And the reason we did that was to show you the air pump effect of an engine. What happens is as each of these moves up and down, it fills the void here. Uh, it's usually only about 60 to 80% filled with air, unless you do a turbocharger, which uh, definitely increases the amount of air that you could put in that same volume, which is why you get more power from them. Now to do a clean burn, you need to have the right air to fuel ratio. And it is actually different for the types of fuels you use. For gasoline, it's about 14.7 to 1. With E85, it's about 9.6 to 1. And with pure methanol, it's 6.4 to 1. Now, what's that matter to you? That means that when the injectors open for a different fuel, it has to have a different opening time. But it's not something we have to manually control. It's already in the computer programming, and it's able to relearn whichever fuel we put into it. Here's the GM 2.2 liter Ecotech engine, which is the same one you'll find in here and the HHR with its top end removed. We want to be able to illustrate what a four cylinders look like, along with how they move out of phase to actually create the power. Now, when everything moves up and down internally, it draws in air from the atmosphere to fill this void. Now, the more air you can shove in there, the more power you can make. And what we're able to do is by uh, using the same amount of air, we can actually create more power with methanol and ethanol just because of the chemistry involved. They burn much cleaner so that you can see all this soot on here. Not as much a problem when you have methanol and ethanol. Gasoline burns very dirty compared to the fuels that we're talking about, but that's only because the molecules are so much simpler, which is also why they're so much cheaper to manufacture.